Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all, welcome back to another Katie on the flip side. We're in the kitchen, so what does that mean? It's time for another Cooking with Katie Bye! It has just started to get a little bit cooler here and that makes me want soup so bad. One of my favorite soups that I have made in the past few years, we will call cheeseburger soup for the sake of this video. I lovingly refer to it as not really a cheeseburger white trash soup because it's kind of a hodgepodge of everything out of the refrigerator sort of like a cheeseburger but not really because it's a soup you know like it's not really a cheeseburger <laughs> i've been making this soup for a while and many of you have asked for the recipe so i wanted to show it to you there are a lot of ingredients in this soup but it's really quick to make the reason there's a lot of ingredients is like i said it's kind of like white trash hodgepodge soup so Let's get started. So I originally found this recipe for hamburger soup on Pinterest and once I made it, I was like, that's really bland. I'm gonna add a bunch of things to it. So a lot of these ingredients are not specific measurements necessarily. You can add more or less if you want to depending on the flavor that you like. So to start though, you need a pound of ground beef, half of a medium onion diced, either minced garlic or garlic powder, one can of condensed tomato soup, two 14 ounce cans of beef broth, one small can of corn, Dale's or Worcestershire sauce, maybe like a tablespoon of those, a little bit of steak sauce, a little bit of Tabasco, Italian seasoning, onion flakes or onion powder, tablespoon or two of mustard, celery chopped up, and pepper. You also need some kind of fun pasta. I like to use the wagon wheels. And basically everything in your kitchen, you can just throw in the kitchen sink too if you would like to. I know that's a ton of ingredients and a bunch of little things, but it's really super fast to make. So I promise it won't be hard. It's always fun to have a little helper in the kitchen too. So the first thing you want to do is spray your pan with some non-cooking stick cooking spray and put in your ground beef. Come on. So once you get your ground beef sizzling, go ahead and add the garlic. This is really a no measuring cup, no measuring spoon required meal. I like to cook it like Cullen does on this, just throw a bunch of stuff in there and you don't really measure it. I really prefer to use onion flakes, but I was out of those. So I'm gonna add a little bit of onion granules. You know, just sprinkle it enough to cover the, cover the meat. Add a little bit of oregano and all the Italian seasoning I have left because I forgot to get some before I made this. But you can see it's a good covering of herbs and spices and garlic and things because you want it to be flavorful. When the meat is flavorful in a dish like this, it really makes the dish a lot better. A little bit of pepper, we'll mix that all up. So as that's cooking, go ahead and throw in the onions. Cut up too many onions. Like, I think that's plenty. I don't want to use all of these, so maybe don't use all the whole half an onion. While there's still a little bit of pink left in the meat, go ahead and add you just a little bit of Dale's, a little bit of Worcestershire, you know, like there you go. How about that much? Just, you know, a couple little swishes. Little swishes, you know? Get it good and swishy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> oh shoot, and actually while your meat was cooking, you're supposed to have the water boiling. So go on ahead and, and turn that on. This wouldn't be a cooking with Katie Pie if I didn't forget something. Also while your meat is cooking, go ahead and put in your beef broth into a bigger pot. Two cans of beef broth. Your condensed tomato soup. And you're supposed to put a can of um, the water from the condensed soup in there, but I'm gonna wait on that because sometimes I feel like it gets too runny. Oh, here, you forgot to put something in. Oh, shoot. <laughs> While this is, soup is trying to boil, your meat is probably about done. One thing I do like to do is use the lean ground beef so that you don't have grease to drain off because if you drain off the grease, then you're also draining off the flavors of the Dales and the Worcestershire and everything that you put in there. So I'm gonna just take this off the eye and let it sit for a second while my pot of broth gets boiling. So my water's finally boiling for my noodles and I usually put about one to two cups of dry pasta in there. 
Um, two cups may be a little bit much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. I figure somebody will eat these noodles at some point with some cheese on them or something, you know. So once the pot is boiling, you want to turn it down so it's just simmering and add your meat and your corn. Once your pasta is ready, drain it and throw that in. Like I said, maybe don't use all of it. I don't want it to be like a pasta dish. Use all of it. That should be good, right? Use all of it. Use all of it. Yes. Remember we still gotta put celery in there. This is when you throw in all the other random things. So to top your cheeseburger, you will like to put a little bit of mustard. You like to add a little bit of lettuce, so we'll use some celery. Lettuce would not go pretty good in some soup. Some people like to add Tabasco. I like to do the Chipotle Tabasco. And a little steak sauce. So let this simmer for about 10 minutes or so, or longer. The longer it simmers, the more the flavor. And then serve it up in a yummy bowl. And if you want it to be a legitimate cheeseburger, top with some cheese. So the finished product is delicious. Like I said, this is one of our favorite soups for the fall. It really is versatile for everybody. And just like any recipe, you can put more or less of anything that you want to in there. I still added a little bit more steak sauce, a little bit more mustard, and added some of that condensed soup water at the end also. This is one of the only soups that I will find Cullen eating leftover. He loves it, and he's not always a big soup fan. I would love to hear if you guys try out this recipe or make it. Tweet me a picture, Instagram me a picture, or let me know in the comments below how you like it or any changes that you would make to it. Also, leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite recipe is for soup, for the fall, for winter, something that makes you feel warm and cozy inside. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. I am putting out videos every Friday. Y'all have a great December, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye!